Hello and welcome to this course on how to build a scalable conversion backend using Hoops Communicator and Node.js. We're going to start with the basics, how to upload and store files on the server, record information about them in a database. Then uh, we delve into the depths of this conversion queue. The idea is that you can have multiple machines all performing cut conversions at the same time, independent of each other. In that context, we also talk a little bit about Amazon S3 storage, how to convert cut uh, assemblies consisting of more than one file. And then the second half of the course, we built a simple viewer that connects to this conversion queue, um, allows you to upload files to it, pull down uh, a list of images to select from, and then view files that, that have been previously converted. Finally, we wrap up and uh, talk a little bit more about advanced concepts and where to go from there and potential future courses that deal with those things. Before we get into the first chapter, here's a little preview of the final result of this course. There's a model picker on the right that you can choose from that contains all the converted models. You can upload cut models, including zip files uh, with a simple drag and drop interface. And those files are gonna get converted in the background using the conversion service. And then every time a file is converted, um, that list gets updated and can view the files. So pretty straightforward, but it's still a good deal of functionality that we need to implement. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're in the first chapter now, and after this brief overview of what this course is trying to achieve, let's delve right into the code. So attached to each chapter of this course is a zip file containing the complete application and all the code that has been written up to that point. In the case of this first chapter, it is just the basic scaffolding of the application. Right now, uh, it's doing nothing more than connect to a database using MongoDB and then create a web server on port 3000. Everybody has its own way of uh, structuring a node application. In my case, I like to put all routes in a, in a specific folder, I have my controllers, and then the libraries and the separate folders as well, and, and also the, the individual database objects. But again, this is a very straightforward application and we'll, we'll fill out all the details as, as, as we go along in the, next, in the next chapters. You see dependencies only on Express, MongoDB, and Mongoose here. So really very straightforward. As you probably noticed, I'm using Visual Studio Code throughout this course, uh, but you're obviously free to use your own IDE. But just in case you're interested, here are the various plugins that I'm using to, to beautify uh, the code a little bit. As I mentioned before, one prerequisite for the course is MongoDB, which is of course completely free and you can download their community server for free from their website, either for Windows or for Linux. So after downloading and installing MongoDB on your local machine, uh, you can then run it. In this case, I'm doing this here from the terminal using this command. And after it's running, I can install all the application dependencies for npm install. I'm gonna be fast forwarding for this step a little bit, which might take a little bit of time. And after that is done, you can run the application again, which just does nothing uh, but uh, creating a web server on port 3000. And now we can move on to the next chapter.